Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our submarine right here. As you guys can see, this thing is actually moving along, but it actually shouldn't be, which is really strange. I do need to fix that right there, that is a bit of a problem, but that's okay. Um, and essentially the main issue that we're actually having with this right now is that the condenser isn't actually working. When I say the condenser isn't working, I mean there is no water going back into the boiler because uh, the condenser isn't able to cool it down quick enough. So, let's go ahead and uh, try and fix that today and hopefully fix some other stuff too. Let's get to it. Oh, and I should mention that uh, I wasn't actually like clutched in there. I don't know why it was moving forwards. It shouldn't have been moving forwards. Uh, but yes, it, it was. So there you go. A little bit strange, but hey ho, there you go. Anyway, what I want to do is make sure that the condenser inside of here is actually cooling the stuff down. So what I need to do then is to delete this bit right here, this bit right here, and these guys. Here we go, because currently it is going off of the uh, the seabed. Um, and actually, is that not cold enough? Is that not actually cold enough? I'm not sure. Anyway, what I want to do is wherever the coolant in is... Uh, which I'm going to go with this side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have coolant pump into there. Actually, no, we'll do it on the other side instead. So let's have this bit actually pumping water in. And then the other side will be pumping water out. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So if I do this and... Oh, I hate when I can't actually put it in the right place. It's super duper annoying. Alright, there we go. So this should be in. Yes, there we go. Good. Let's go ahead and grab this and send it sideways a little bit. There we go. Then send it down. And uh, a straight pipe straight into there. There we go. So we can actually send it straight through from the uh, seabed up into the submarine, through the condenser, and then back out. Hopefully the condenser will work with salt water. I'm assuming it will, but I, I actually don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and have this on a constant number. Give it some electricity, and we'll go with that. Let's see if this helps. Okay, so since starting this, we can actually see that the temperature has gone down to 10, which is nice. Uh, the temperature of the actual thing itself is a little bit higher than 10. It is now connected, which is good. And that should mean that this should start going up in temperature, but hopefully it cools it down uh, as this happens. Whether that'll work or not, I'm not so sure, but we'll see. So, um, okay, that should start rising. The temperature there isn't going up, but the temperature here is. Um, but there isn't actually anything going through this just yet, so we gotta wait. Okay, so here we go. If we have a little look at this, the temperature has risen and there is now pressure in the pipes, which now means that those are turning, which means steam is going through them, and it's going through here. Now, the temperature of this is, of course, rising now, and, uh, oh, it's, it's still going up. It's at 40 now, and it's going to continue to go up. But you can see that the steam is actually coming in. It doesn't say that there is any water going out, which is a bit of an issue. Um, in fact, that is a, a massive issue. I don't know why that's happening. Is it because we have to distill the water before it goes in here? That might be a thing. Let's add um, a desal... Is it desalination? I think that's what it's called. Let's add some of that and see if that'll help. Okay, so I'm going to add one of these desalination tubes. Let's go ahead and just do this right here. We'll then add one of those tubes right there, which is nice. And then the fluid out actually goes uh, back. Now, I don't know whether we'll need more of this than we've actually got right here, but let's just see if it works. Because if it works, that's great. If it doesn't work, then clearly we need to come up with a different, uh, uh, well, I don't know, do a different approach. So hopefully we can get this working. Uh, there we go. Go ahead and shove that straight onto there like so. And hopefully one is enough. Uh, if it isn't enough, we can add more. But I, I hope, I hope it's, it is enough. Oh, actually, there's something else that we need to do as well. Because uh, da -da 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 -da, the nuclear reactor stuff doesn't like using... Uh, using the same stuff either. We're gonna have to delete all of this, put that back in there. One, two, three, go ahead and delete those as well. And we only have to use fresh water to go into there, which is maybe a problem, maybe not a problem, I don't know. But we're gonna have to use it anyway, so go ahead and send it that way. And uh, we'll actually attach it straight in using this guy right here. And hopefully this will actually allow it to work. So before we were actually pumping in salt water, we're gonna pump in fresh water instead using this. And uh, hopefully that'll work. The only thing that I'm actually worried about is this not being able to flow as much fresh water as we actually need. But um, hopefully that's not a problem. Alright, I actually think that limits it. So what we want to do now then is actually go back in and delete this. Okay, uh, we're actually going to go and delete this, 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 and this, and also that. There we go. And we're going to attach that straight up to there. Now, the main thing that we need to do now 
is add some uh, thingamabobbies, some radiators, uh, because radiators are very good at getting rid of the heat. So we're going to go ahead and attach these in a little bit of series to uh, make it work. So because this is the inn, uh, is this the inn? It goes into there, and then it comes out the other side. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and do it on both sides, and hopefully that'll be okay. So we're going to go and do this. We're going to go ahead and shove this guy onto there. There's one, there's two. And then we're going to delete this and send it in, delete this, and this, and this, and this, and this. There we go. And essentially, all we need to do is pipe it in, pipe it out, pipe it in, pipe it out. And that's all we need to do. So do this to there, go ahead and do this guy to there, and do this guy up to there. And voila, there we go. Now, they don't need any electricity or anything like that because they just work naturally, and that's okay. The main issue that I see with this is these guys aren't outside and they don't get any airflow. So I'm assuming that's a really bad thing, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's working now, as you guys can see, and, uh, oh, I say it's working, there is no water coming out still. I am very confused. I'm very confused. So this is down to, like, 40 degrees, but it drops to about 20 degrees sometimes, which is interesting. So it's staying actually quite cool. Um, but there is water being let out of the boiler because there is no water. There's no, like, cold water going into it. Oh, this is actually stabilized at 20 now. Um, the pressure of this is still rising because there is no water coming out of there. I'm very confused as to why there's no water coming out. I really don't get it. I don't understand. Um, yeah. Okay, so I actually found the problem, guys. The problem was that there was no water getting in there because there was no pump on the other side. Also, we had this water tank on the other side as well, and I've decided to swap it to this side. So it actually, the steam comes out of here and fills up this tank, and then, the, oh, well, sorry, the water comes out of here, fills up this tank, and then it goes back into here, which is awesome, and then it goes back around the system, and then comes back into here, goes out, goes into there, goes back into here, and it all actually works, so that is pretty good. Um, I'm actually really happy with that, that's, that's pretty nice, uh, and it does mean that we will continue to drive forwards, um, yeah, nice. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and dive down now and see what happens. I don't know what's going to go on here. I feel like the nose is going to go down a little bit faster than everything else. Uh, but we should be able to somewhat control it if we want to, maybe. So uh, let's go ahead and attempt to control it as we go down. Here we go. We are underneath the water. I can't seem to actually pitch up a at all, actually. Uh, and that's a bit of an issue. Oh, yeah, we're going under. Oh, we are definitely going under. Yikes. Um, okay, and we're actually going very slow again. So what I'm actually thinking we do is we add a generator instead of making it fully nuclear powered. And then we have it be like electric powered, uh, but also recharged by the nuclear reactor. Uh, whether that will work, whether that won't work, I'm not sure. But let's go and delete this. Go all the way to here and uh, delete these guys as well. We're going to need every single one of these. Here we go. So grab that from there all the way to here. Go ahead and cut it. Move it forwards. All the way to here, and paste it on. There we go, good. And then we just need a generator to go on the back of there, and hopefully that'll work. Bam! There we go, okay, cool. So merge this with this. Uh, give the electricity back to whatever we need the electricity to go back to. And that'll be all good. Yeah, here we go. So generator, 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 and generator. Good. And then all we need to do is add a gearbox to this. Just like so. And then a motor directly onto there. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. <laughs> Another one. There we go. Good. And then all we need to do is make this three to one. There we go. And we should be good to go. Okay, whether that'll actually work or not, again, I'm not so sure, but we'll see. Connect those together. There we go. That's all connected together already. Uh, let's get ourselves a dial real quickly. Ba -ba 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 -bum. And essentially what this dial is going to do is show us the output of the generator. Because we need to know. We really do need to know. So connect this up to the generator and see what happens. Wherever that is, there it is. Good, so there's the generator. And then the other thing we really need is the battery as well. So let's go ahead and grab this, delete that guy, put it in there like so, and connect this directly to the batteries right there. Okay, as all of it is connected uh, all together anyway, um, that is fine. So connect those guys to there, connect them to there, and that is everything fully connected together. Okay, so we've already started using the electricity, as you guys can see. I don't know if infinite electricity it is. There we go. Infinite electricity was on, and we are going at a rate of, like, uh, 8. 
meters per second. That's actually not too bad. Uh, but we are also using uh, our battery at the minute too, so that's going down. Uh, and what I should mention is that the reactor isn't actually on yet, and it is not doing anything towards giving us electricity. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down to about 0.9, and then we'll go ahead and see if it creates electricity from there. And there we go. Okay, cool. So we're at 0.9. The generator is now running and spinning, as you guys can see. It's up to 1,500, uh, which is enough to actually start regenerating the actual power. It's not enough to regenerate the power while we're moving, though, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, but yes, we did get an extra point in there, so that's pretty good. We'll see how long it takes us to get another one. There we go. Nice. It's actually working. Um, that has seemingly dropped, which is weird, and I'm not entirely sure why, but something keeps happening back here. Uh, that makes it drop, and I don't know what it is. Because these guys start going slower at some point. Does that mean that the boiler is... the pressure's gone all the way down? No, the pressure is still up there. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure. Alright, so I have a feeling that the reason that it's doing that is because the steam isn't actually getting uh, pumped out quick enough, and it's not getting pumped out quick enough because the condenser can't deal with it. So there's a bunch of reasons that uh, things are happening right here, although actually it is getting pumped out, isn't it? Unless this is the wrong way around. Hang on, this is steam in, yes. So it is actually getting pumped out as well, so I don't know what's going on. It might just be that this isn't dealing with it very well, and uh, I don't know, the whole system is just flawed because it's not able to actually cool it down quick enough or whatever. So um, yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, we have a reactor that is able to actually um, recharge our batteries. So what we'll do now is we'll actually work on something else. Okay, so a few of you guys were saying, what if you actually put some sort of like screen within the roof of this thing? And uh, is that actually possible? Well, the answer is it is possible, um, but I don't know how effective it's gonna be. So let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. Uh, do, 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 do. We need ourselves a pivot. Yes, let's go ahead and smash this into there like so. We can then actually go ahead and attach this to the top really quickly. Get ourselves a monitor, which we'll go ahead and attach onto there. 5x3, that is fine. And there we go. I guess we'll have it there, I think? I don't know, is that not going to be high enough? There, maybe. Not sure. But essentially, this is going to get folded down into place, so we go ahead and leave it like that. However, the main issue with this is that instead of us like sealing it off the way we have been sealing it off, we're gonna have to do it a lot more and that takes up a lot more space. So we'd actually have to go around the outside of this, send it all the way across here and build a box around it essentially and hope that that worked. Um, I am gonna try it anyway just to show you guys it working but I don't know whether I should. <laughs> I don't know whether I should, but there you go. Delete that across there. Go ahead and delete this guy and this guy and send it up. Uh, there we go, just like so. Delete that guy, fill that in, and there we go. That should be fully boxed off. Oh, except this piece right here. Uh, delete that guy, fill it in, there we go, and now it should work. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, uh, this guy, this guy, and these ones as well. There we go, gonna go across the top, and then we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a number. Du -du 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 -du. Which is gonna be 0.5, I guess, and we're gonna connect it to here. Let's see if this works. 0.5, yes! Uh, give it some electricity as well, because it's going to need it. And attach it to there. Okay, so run forwards. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in there. Uh, okay, it's trying to go the wrong way. So it's actually minus 0.5. Uh, and then it should work, I guess. So let's go down to here. Minus 0.5. There we go. And spawn it in again. And let's see what happens this time. Is it going to look good? Or is it going to look bad? Uh... I mean, it's folded down into position, and it actually doesn't look terrible, so does that win? Is that okay? Maybe it is. I don't know. Alright, so I've actually gone ahead and put it on the other side as well, just because I thought it might be nice to have it on both sides. Let's go ahead. Oh, that one's wrong. But that one is... Oh, yeah, it's actually, like, messing this up. Okay, so we don't want the button on the bottom, but everything else is fine. Okay, fine. So delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. Go ahead and delete the rest of these as well. And that'll be fine. And realistically, we could probably get away with adding these across the bottom. Uh, but I don't think I want that either. So we'll just leave it as is uh, for right now, and that's okay. Um, the other thing that we could actually do is do it the opposite way. There we go. Do that. And also the opposite way on here as well, which is this. And then seeing if that works too. Um, and then I don't know what we should use to turn on the monitors. I think they should maybe automatically be on whenever we turn the lights on, I guess. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay, we're inside the submarine. Go ahead and turn the lights on. And there we go. We can see outside and we can see outside. This one doesn't seem to have turned over, though. Uh, and the main reason for that, I believe, is because it is not attached to this. So we got to attach that onto there, and now we can do it. Okay, get back inside. Yes, here we go. And see what this looks like. So turn the lights on. And there we go. Okay, awesome. So this is our left camera, this is our right camera, and both of them do actually work. That is actually really cool. I like that. I might even add multiple of them across, uh, just so we can see what's going on outside the submarine, from within the submarine. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I figured we might as well add a little bit more detail in here. So we're going to need things like fire extinguishers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shove those. Actually, one is going to go right here. We're going to go ahead and use the same colors as everything else. And we're going to shove that there like that. We're then going to have a first aid kit uh, located right next to each and every place. So one there. Go ahead and put one there. And put one on the other side right here. We're then going to do a similar thing down here. So one there, one there, one there. And that's all good. And we're going to have to add some other stuff as well. So more fire extinguishers, probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and delete this right here. Actually, we'll just have it on this side of the wall. That's probably okay. There we go. And we'll do it in a different color, just because we can. So that's going to go there. And we'll go ahead and add a first aid kit right above it. There we go. Hopefully the right way around. Otherwise, it'll look weird. There we go. Okay, anything else that needs to be added? I guess we should add. Um, I guess heaters, quite a good idea. Let's go ahead and delete this bit right here and shove it in the wall. Do the same on the other side, shove it in the wall. And the same back here. And the same back here as well. There we go. Nice. So we got some heaters in the main room. Um, I also don't really like the fact that it is so... Um, I, I don't know what the word is, but like so... So dull in here. There's not very much going on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab this color. And we're going to try and change it to a little bit of a different color. Um... And just mess around with the walls a little bit. I don't know whether we do lines or whether we do just, like, dots. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's have a little look at this. We do have some colors sort of close. Um, I guess a whole line across the side might be okay. I don't know. Sure, we'll go with that. In fact, let's go ahead and do, like, a few. And that might be kind of cool. Maybe. Also, do it on both sides as well. Otherwise, again, we might have some issues. Uh, there we go. Good. Go ahead and do this. Send it all the way across. Do this bit. There we go. Continue. 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 There we go. We are doing it, guys. We are doing it. There we go. Up to there. Nice. Okay. I mean, I suppose that looks okay. I suppose so. Go ahead and paint this little bit right here as well. The station itself, I guess, will also be painted. And there we go. I think that's nice. I don't know, though. <laughs> I think it's nice, but I'm not sure. In fact, paint this little bit as well. Paint that bit. Paint this bit. And all of this. There we go. And I'm also going to paint these guys. I'm then going to go ahead and paint most of this too, because we need to. It's going to be the same. And then most of this too. There we go. Not that piece though, because it doesn't need it. But everything else, paint it. Nice. Alright, so I was thinking maybe like a map in the middle would actually be pretty cool too. So uh, before we get the map, let's just go ahead and build a little table into this. Uh, with a monitor directly on top of it. There is going to be a lot of monitors in here. So, because that's there, we're actually going to go ahead and go backwards a little bit and build it in right here. Um, some marines are usually quite cramped, so I'm okay with doing this. There we go. And send this across the center. Good. And then add a monitor to that, which is just going to be one of these located on a table, just like so. Bosh. There we go. Black. I mean, black is okay. Let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, delete that guy. Go ahead and put this in. Put this on on this side as well. There we go. And this is going to be our map table. It's a little bit odd, but sure. In fact, let's go ahead and put a button right here. And that'll do. There we go. Connect that to the table. And then we'll have to get a map off the workshop in order to actually do this. But that's fine. All right. Very cool. Okay, next thing. Let's go ahead and paint the seats all a different color too. We're just going to go with uh, gray brown. Brown? I guess we're going to go brown. There we go. On each one of these seats. That's fantastic. Good. Uh, and we're also going to actually add some sort of like gridding to the floor as well. Probably going all the way through, pretty much. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get ourselves a fluid port, which is just going to be one of these guys. And uh, I guess it's going to be in this color. So let's go ahead and grab this and send it through. This should make it look a lot nicer, to be honest. So uh, I'm really happy we're doing this. Uh, send it all the way through to there. That's fine. And just fill in the back bit at the end, just like so. That then means we can just jug the uh, roof in. Uh, da -da -da -da, this color. Did I accidentally paint the top? I did. By accident. Alright, there we go. Just do that piece instead. And we're going to do it the same all the way down to the back. 
And there we go. I think I've done it again on this one. I have accidentally done it again. All right, cool. Now we can just jug the rest of it, just like so. And there we go. Nice. That's not too bad. That is not too bad whatsoever. I can't actually put this one in, so actually, let's go ahead and delete this guy. Fill this in like so, and jug these. There we go. Nice. That's actually kind of a nice addition. I love these. Okay, I just decided at the end to actually attach these guys. Again, they're a little bit strange, but also at the same time, they're actually kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and keep those as well. Going to go ahead and just attach another one in there and do this, and then go to the bottom. Go ahead and grab this and paint it like so. There we go. Good. So that is like a big old texture bit for our submarine and is kind of cool. Yes. All right, so now that we've added a bunch more stuff, let's go ahead and have a little look inside there and see if we've made it look better or whether we made it look worse. Let's go ahead and jump inside. Go ahead and turn the lights on and yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting. I decided to add these guys up here because I thought it'd be kind of cool and I do think it looks sort of, sort of cool. Um, definitely adds a lot more detail, which is kind of nice. I do want to add a little bit more detail in terms of different colors around these guys. Um, and then we can probably use this. This is kind of cool. Uh, so, currently this is our only station that actually works. Obviously it's the ballast bit. We only have one ballast tank, which is the center one. We might use the front and the back ones as well. Not sure just yet, but, uh, for now that's okay. I'm also gonna add angled pieces to these guys, because that'll make it look nicer. And, uh, might do a little bit on the top of that as well. Other than that, I'm pretty sure I, uh, I'm okay with the rest, to be honest. Never very good with interior detail, but if it works, it works. And, um, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is actually end this video here for now. In the next one, I think I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, sleeping quarters slash crew quarters because we kind of need that. And uh, I do want to try and uh, focus on one thing at a time. So like today's video, I switched between two things. I went from working on the engine uh, to working on this. And I don't want to do that really. I want to try and make them a little bit more uh, precise. But anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.